a t-shirt and jeans, t-shirt and shorts, there's still no reason yes. to have on your schleppiest flip-flops that are gonna fall apart in two seconds. Yeah. Throw on a little lipstick, throw on a pair of earrings. If you're gonna go out the door, grab a jacket, grab a nice purse yes. or you know a casual purse that yeah. works, something, just so you feel a little bit more pulled together. much for joining us today. I am Terry Cardula, the host of Talking with Terry TV. And on today's business spotlight, a piece of jewelry can really make or break an outfit. And it can also add just the right amount of sparkle just where it's needed. Our guest today not only creates beautiful jewelry, she also has a creative outlook on life that really has helped her business thrive. Welcome Kathy to the show. <laughs> Thank you for having me, Terry. <laughs> Okay, so let's <laughs> dive in. Let's talk about how your inspiration really started with you know creating the jewelry line that you have today. Um, it really goes back to my grandmother and my mother. Um, they were both very fashion forward, always wearing hats, and my grandmother was always in white pants, which would be comparable to jeans, but she never had a pair of jeans, at least that I can truly remember. But she would just throw on a gorgeous cashmere sweater and white pants and be gardening. It's like, okay, well, if that works <laughs> she, for her, that's awesome. That is so much like me. Like, I will just, go home and I will be just out in the garden. You see a weed, like, you gotta grab it. I'm like, yes. But, but the, her- I don't her, see a problem with this, Kathy. <laughs> no, not at all. But her chicness just really resonated and it filtered down to my mother who also went to fashion school before she had all of us kids. And then our house was just full of color and just fun. And our bedroom was pink and green and orange, and you can clearly tell we were a child of the late 60s, early 70s. I like it. I like those color combos. Well, <laughs> even, it gets even better because we had a reversible bedspread that was paisley in those colors, and a green rug, and the um, bench had a striped pattern. Oh, I love when so you mix stripes with anything. It's, like, it's awesome. Love it. But it took me a long time to want to go ahead and do that. But. You, there were no Teen Beat posters of uh, David Cassidy or anybody else of, <laughs> of that era. It, we weren't allowed to put them up there, but we had beautiful doll collection, which you know was also inspirational, um, and that was like our bedroom. Yeah. But so those colors resonated with me. Our house was colorful, warm, and like I said, my mother was also very fashion forward. And when they were working, when she was working, and. She didn't wear hats as casually the way she does today, but then it was, you know, when the, we were going to synagogue on the high holidays, hats were a must, mm -hmm. but impeccably dressed just from the late 50s into 60s, it was that era, and it definitely filtered. We couldn't wear jeans to school, and, you know, we had to have a certain image portrayed, yeah. and it wasn't like we were dressed differently, but we just couldn't wear jeans. They just yeah. said, no, you can look better than that. Yeah. And it's always stuck with me. And this is like this imprinting, right? This is unconscious just, programming, imprinting. Uh, it which must is, be. Which, which, which in is a good way. In a really good way, in a really right. positive way, right? Because yeah. now how you carry yourself and how you put yourself forward. It, it does make it really, a big difference. It makes a big difference. And I'm curious to, to know, because you are a stylist as well, so, you know, um, she will go into people's wardrobes and then just like design like a well, new. Well, we're all sitting there. We have these closets and we have this many clothes and really we're wearing this many <laughs> and, and I'm very guilty of that but I took a class a couple of years ago and she made us this is online and she made us dive into of what are you not wearing in your closet well okay besides the fact does it not fit pitch it you know fit what you wear to have your body work with the clothes that you are today don't say when I lose 10 pounds that shirt will fit you know what, it just, it's its taking a valuable real estate space yeah, in your closet, true. so get rid of it. And if you look better in something, you know, there's lots of ways that we're all not at our ideal weight, and if we are, kudos to you. But there's lots of ways to play around and see what's in your closet before you go out, go shopping, and come home, and then you have nothing to wear with it. Yeah. So I've been, I was taught to shop my closet, and after taking this class, it was like, uh, the wardrobe that I 
had sitting in front of me without realizing it was absolutely incredible. I'm like, oh my God, this is so much fun. Yeah. And I would be off for like two or three hours in my closet playing when I really didn't have the time, but I made the time to sit there and create these outfits. And my phone has so many different outfits that I never would have thought of, but we had a prompt yeah. for like a month. So it was like every day was a different something. And I was like, oh, all right, well, let me try this and let me try this. Oh, God, I forgot about that. Yeah. Oh, this still has a tag on it. Why haven't I worn this? Yeah. I don't know. It got, it fell off the hanger. It's shoved in the back of the closet. So I help people find hidden gems in their closet that they might not realize is going to go with point A to point F type yeah. thing. And somewhere in the middle, so you're... You know, help you so you're clean maximizing up. your closet space. Absolutely, which I love it. And you know, I don't know about how you dress, um, but when I get up, when I when I go into, we do have this style. Uh, we have the stylizer uh, 2.0. I don't know if you <laughs> do. You know what this is? I don't think so. My husband put it in. He installed oh. it. It's very high. <laughs> it's very high quality. Um, it's essentially um, two 3M strips, a hook here and a hook like right here in the closet. <laughs> so you put your top and he, on oh. my side, it's right next to my shoes. So I just, you have one for your top and then one for your pants. And then I pull out the shoes that I want to wear. Just they pull about like four inches and then there's and then I have jewelry that okay, I can stick now on I know it. what you're saying. But yeah. you know what I'm saying. So it's like yes. we call it the stylizer, and he's like, "Well, because we had our t closets redone." And then he That's put this perfect. in, and I'm like, "Oh my gosh!" But it's a, it's a time changer, right? But I will go into my closet and I'll find one piece, whether it's a piece of jewelry, it's a piece of whatever, a jacket. I start with one piece. I'm like, okay, now I add to that one piece. But that's the focal point right. of what we're creating, right? You're right. But the, and then there's days that all of a sudden it's like, I want to wear these earrings today. Even if I'm sitting at home, uh, I will just go grab, and in the summer, I'll just grab a T-shirt and shorts. Yeah. And I will always have earrings on. But she always looks great. Oh, my gosh. Well, can, we t can we tell the story of what just happened? <laughs> yeah. So we, 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 you are so, she gets me. So she's like the only person on the planet that gets me. So I'm like, <laughs> when I need like a little boost of confidence, like I'm up against, you know, because I have a, um, we have a group of folks that they tell me like, Terry, you, you're, oh, you're always dressed so nicely. You need to dress casual. And I'm like, this is my casual, right? Not, not today. Um, but on the weekends, you know, it's, but it's, but I'm wearing, I'm like, well, I'm wearing a tank, white tank top. I'm wearing shorts. I'm wearing whatever. But I, I add a little bling to it. Absolutely. So that it, I don't look, sh it's, it's completely a feeling for me. I can't feel frumpy because if right. I feel frumpy, I feel short for some reason. And I just, I don't like <laughs> we are short. And we so are petite. Like, oh yeah. I'm but, a giant compared to you. Okay. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> she but, is. <laughs> but, but no, it, it really I mean, a, a t-shirt and jeans, t-shirt and shorts, there's still no reason yes. to have on your schleppiest flip-flops that are going to fall apart in two seconds. Yeah. Throw on a little lipstick, throw on a pair of earrings. If you're going to go out the door, grab a jacket, grab a nice purse yes. or, you know, a casual purse that yeah. works something just so you feel a, a little bit more pulled together. And yes. I'm the same way. I will always have my jewelry on when I go to the grocery store yeah. because inevitably I see my clients in the grocery store yes. and my, my, point is that you can be in a t-shirt and jeans mm -hmm. no matter if it's a colored jean or a black t-shirt gray t-shirt white t-shirt graphic t-shirt any casual clothing for you and still look presentable yeah and not like you just rolled out of bed so you know i, I mean seriously <laughs> it's a feeling it, for me it is a, a feeling. It's a feeling but it's also i see and and as you're building a brand as you're building a, a following as you're building your business um, I find, I connect with people all over the place. Like it is the most random places, spaces that I will like, Hey, I connected with this person. We became fast friends or we became business partners or but, whatever it is, whether it's the plane, the train or the automobile bill, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> but, but, but no, but seriously with social media, we, people follow us. Yes. That's awesome. That's great. Yeah. That's always been the goal. Have yeah. all these people. We don't always know them. Yeah. And we both know someone who this girl was called her name in DIA. Mm -hmm. She was so caught off guard and she had no idea who this person was. It was somebody who followed her and she's all she said was, thank goodness I made an effort to look a little more pulled together in the airport to get on an airplane, yeah. not in schleppy gray sweats that we all lived in yeah. during the pandemic. It's like, yeah. that's great, that's super. And I was even telling people, if you have a Zoom call, you're not feeling the best, throw on a scarf because in those little two by two squares on a Zoom call, a scarf will give you some additional color, even if it is a gray sweatshirt, 
It might even hide a stain, and that's fine. You're, you're running upstairs <laughs> to grab your scarf. But, but that is so true. And throw in a pair of earrings, because in those little Zoom calls, all you're going to see is really from the neck up anyway. So add some color. Then when you're done, take the scarf off, and you can sit and schlep and you know, stay home in your gray sweats. But we're all past that phase now. And I think we kind of need to get back to feeling more pulled together and looking more pulled together and taking time giving ourselves the time. A lot of people aren't still giving themselves that additional 10 minutes, 15 minutes, maybe even five minutes. You can see a five minute face yeah. on Instagram. Yeah. Or, you know, and it's easy enough to do. Grab a pair of earrings, throw on a lip, and you can walk out the door. And it's amazing what it does for your mentality, your motivation. You just feel a little bit better and even after we have lunch sometimes, it's like, oh, everyone's like, you need lips on. You need lips on because you washed out. You need lips. You yep. ate it off. Put lips on. And, <laughs> but we're really good at telling yeah. people to do that. Yeah. But why not with jewelry? It's like, it, and that's a little harder to say. Yeah. Oh, here, add a necklace. Like, no, yeah. lipstick is a definite um, facial um, enhancer. Yeah. Well, and the, to your point, it doesn't take a lot of time, right? No. You're talking about five minutes, you know, I will keep extra jewelry in my car. I actually keep <laughs> extra jewelry on my in my office. Just because if I'm doing an outfit change or something, I'm like, I just want to do this. And just changing out the earrings. And by the way, if you're doing any social media, you can batch out real quick and just flip it some earrings just real quick. And it's just like you have a whole new outfit. You could see, keep the outfit on. Right. Um, super random. Years ago, my my, my husband said, you know, I bet you could do a, 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 a accessory challenge. So for five days, I wore the same shirt and the same pants to work hmm. and to see if any of my staff noticed. So I, I changed every day. So that was the staple, the, the, the right. top and the bottom. And I, I did different accessories. And um, believe it or not, not a single person noticed it. So at the end of the day, at the end of Friday, I then pulled out all of my Polaroid pictures. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> and I showed them, and they were like, wait, what? I can't believe that. We missed that, right? But but for you, especially because your hair is short. Yes. So earrings absolutely are a standout, whether they're long or short. Mm -hmm. And those absolutely look yeah. awesome on you. And I find that, like, even with short hair, like, it's, you know, that's your statement piece, right? Now, right. people, there's a, there's some folks in my neighborhood, that they've identified me as the lady with the fun earrings. And so I'm like, I'm okay with that. So that's, that's a pretty good <laughs> moniker to have. Yeah. I'm okay with that. All right. Oh, my goodness. We're going to take a quick break. It's so juicy. Yes. Okay. So we're going to come back and we're going to find out from Kathy, what is the number one mistake that we make when we show up? So make sure that you stay tuned to hear more. Want more support in creating your success story? My products can help. Check them out. First, I have my book, Be the Magic of You, Tools to Transform Your Life. And in it, I have over 70 different tools to help reprogram your brain. Next, I have my daily intentions planners. They help you create without forcing it. They combine brain science and universal laws. In addition to my book and planners, I also have two card decks you're sure to love, designed to support you to reconnect with your purpose, power, and potency. I also offer two special packages. The first is a success package, in it, you'll have my book and a year supply of planners to help you bundle and save. Next is my favorite, the empowerment package. You can supercharge your life in business by getting all the products at one low price. But wait, there's more. I also offer a yearly subscription called the seven figure business box. Each quarter, you'll receive a physical box mailed to your home, a live two-hour intensive training, an hour-long fireside chat with an expert in the industry, a guidebook packed with even more resources. To order anything you see here, just go to my website, talkingwithterry.com. We're back with Kathy Begin with The Elegant Bead. All right, so we're, what is the biggest mistake that people make? Honestly, I think they don't have, they don't have it in them. They just are so relaxed, like, yeah, okay, it's no big deal. And really, it does make a big deal. You, you will feel better, you will look better, you're gonna be more productive in everything that you actually will be doing. I bet there's research to back that too. There, there probably is. Yes, I mean, it's yes. just, I think you'll sit up a little straighter. You know, you're not just always laying on the couch on your computer, whether you're working <laughs> or not. Right. But I, I think it's just, it's also a mindset. And I think if you put a few extra minutes in mm -hmm. that 
thought process of what you're going to wear. And I'm not saying, you know, you don't need to go all out head to toe fair. every day. Yeah. Fair enough. I, I don't either. But there's times that, you know, I always have earrings on, even if I'm sitting in shorts and a t-shirt yeah. in my studio yeah. every day. And I think it's just something that you have to, it's like making your bed every day. Yeah. You do that, you're more productive. Exactly. And that is a proven fact. And I think the same thing, if you know, you're know you gonna brush your hair, so why not go yeah. two extra seconds and you yeah. know finesse yourself a little bit more, yeah. you'll, be, you'll feel better. Yeah, and I'll say this, like, here's the thing, is that I will take a shower, style my hair, makeup, and get dressed in 20 minutes. Oh, dear gosh. Uh, yeah, so I don't mess around. Like, okay, so you can have this look too. <laughs> <laughs> Your hair looks a whole lot shorter than mine, so yes. <laughs> but you did bring in some outfits, so we can talk about just how easy this is. Like, I love debunking the myths that it has to take a long time. So, you know, you brought in an outfit, share with us what you brought in and how we can dress up and dress down outfits pretty quickly. What, what I brought in was just a great little black tank top with a little bit of a ruffle. And I wear it with just some basic black shorts. Which I un think is pretty bold because, underneath. like, you know, like, you know, I don't know, because we were always, I don't know. But it's, it's so easy to dress yeah. up. I, I've worn this with flip-flops. I've worn it with sandals. But lately, sneakers seem to be And they have, like, a little bit of a shimmer They on do. It, so which is just so like, I kind of save these more for like a dress rather, than, yes. yeah, rather than running around in them all the time. Yes, yes, yes. And if I really wanted to, you know, judge my look up, if we're going to go to the farmer's market, here you go. Here I put on a sun hat. You can still go out to you know Sunday brunch, and you can grab an awesome necklace. Yes, like something. So, let me take this off. Yeah, but put this on. Yes, and how it. pretty pink and black is so classic, and this necklace you can wear long or short or even tripled, and you can add another one like this pretty green for a pop of color. You can put something oh, like it. that. Yes, and, and it's, it's just, easy. It's yes. easy breezy. And you look like you put more than five minutes in, even though you didn't. Right. But it's a great grab and grow, grab and go type of an outfit. And you can change the shoes if you wanted a little dressier sandal. I think that's awesome. But this is something that can take you multiple places. Right. And I love that it, the fact that it's black. And so that's the, the, the neutral color here. Right. And so you could really go with any palette. I mean, you could even put these on here. You could put really any of the things that you've talked about. Any uh, color. And so speaking of jewelry, and, and obviously you hand make all of this, um, I have several pieces on myself. I remember... Um, I hope my husband doesn't watch this. And babe, I'm so sorry. Okay, I love you. But he bought me this little, he bought me this necklace for a gift and he's great at buying jewelry. And so, but it's dainty and Terry doesn't do dainty. Okay, so then I went to you and I'm like, help me. I want to wear this. And so she's like, let me just judge you a little bit. So she custom made one piece, one piece you had already made. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And so after I started adding these pieces, I'm like, I can wear it now. <laughs> and, well, like, it, it's a beautiful uh, layer stack and mix, which is one yeah. of my mantras of the elegant yes. bead. But it's pulling in um, one of the necklaces I'd made for you has the green, not yep. the exact same green as yeah. the one that your husband got you. Yes. And the other one is more of a blue and a light brown, but they're neutral and the chains mix and match and they are awesome and they're lightweight. They're not so mm -hmm. heavy. Yeah. Like th this one is a little bit heavier of a feel to it. Yeah. But that one, they all work. And the, yes. and the colors, when you're going to layer, stack and mix, the colors don't need to all be the same. Yeah. They could be shades of it and it works beautifully. Yes. Um, the pieces that I have on today, I have nothing on in orange, but I let orange be the actual standout color but I mixed in um, this green necklace, which is on a silver chain, and the other one is a brass chain. So the green is pulling in my shirt, and then the blue is top and bottom, but the orange is the standout. And yeah. then some of the bracelets that I wear are just the fun little crystals that have every bit of a color you can imagine, and they're just lightweight, they're easy, they're kind of my grab-and-go bracelets as well. But they're also fun to mix um, another sterling bracelet in, mix um, a nicer fine piece of jewelry, which I do wear. Oh, I have a nice little coin necklace that was gifted many years ago from my parents, which yeah. I base a lot of my own pieces around, mm -hmm. so it's always seen. I love it. So it's fine jewelry mixed with a fashion jewelry um, in its own right. There's yeah. so many different ways, and there's not a right and there's not a wrong. Yeah, I love so. it. Well, and the other thing is what I love about you is that if you, especially if you're a professional and you're like, you know what, I have this great stage dress, 
I need to zhuzh it up. I need to cut, but I can't find something that works, right? Call me. Call, you know, <laughs> call her, right? Um, or, or what I have, and I have a difficulty seeing things like, so, you know, you were actually wearing this very similar bracelet. And, um, and I said, <gasps> and as soon as I see it, I'm like, I love it. But I don't necessarily can be able, I can't, I can't really articulate what it is until I see it. And so I was like, and so then I was like, I need you to make me the exact same one so we can be <laughs> Twinkies. Um, and so she did, she did. And, um, and I love that some of your jewelry is, um, it's sizable adjustable. Because, or adjustable, sizable, because, um, for those that ha whether you're small wristed or, you know, um, have bigger wrists, it just makes it, just, it easier. It, it um, does. And, and it is, I do it a lot on the necklaces as well because that gives me a little bit more versatility mm -hmm. if I want something that is a little bit longer and some other, depending on the neckline and the outfit of wherever I'm going, I, I'm learning to appreciate the lobster claw clasp and a lot of chain. Yeah. It took me a long time before I was like, no, I had to have something really pretty that matched and then they started to become harder to find. Yeah. So it was like, okay, well the chain is that. And, and really the chain does pull the whole look together as well, and, and I'm offering versatility to my customers. Love it, so. I love it. Well, why is it so important to have and create your own um, unique look and feel, and like, why is that so important? Um, honestly, you and I are very similar in some ways, but we're really not. Our, I mean, our hair color, our eye color, skin color, <laughs> and our height. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm told. <laughs> you win that one. But we have different aesthetics. I yeah. mean, you're truly a pink, black, and white mm -hmm. girl, mm -hmm. whereas I pretty much wear every color of the rainbow. Yeah. But you may not know this, Kathy, but I only wear pink on like certain days. Like I uh, rarely uh, wear pink. Really? Yes, I know. People don't know this. Well, it's but probably I the actually, only times I see you at I networking. I know, but I wear all the other colors on every other day except for those three days a month <laughs> that I wear all pink. I just told well, I need that. to see you on those. <laughs> <laughs> but, I mean, which is, yeah. which is awesome. Yeah. But I think we, um, it helps with our own identity. You find your yeah. favorite color is something that really works that you yeah. get compliments on. Mm -hmm. Stick with it and run yeah. with it. Yeah, I love it. All right, what are some additional tr tips or styling hacks that people can use, especially when they want to look and feel their <clears> best, <throat> especially when you're out on social media? Because if you're a business owner, um, you're an influencer, you're going to be on TV, you're going to be um, on uh, video, you're going to be on podcast, television, whatever that looks like for you. So. What are some tips and tricks for people um, that they can use this to style their own brand and really step w forward with their confidence? Jewelry and lipstick. Honestly, it, it really will pull your entire yeah. look together, whether you're in a casual t-shirt and jeans and if you're going to go to a gala. I mean, even after you eat, quick, someone tell her <laughs> she needs lipstick. On. On it, because it really does balance out your face, as do your earrings, as do your necklaces. And, you know, if someone is not totally into all sorts of jewelry, okay, find one style, whether it's all necklaces or whether it is earrings. I have customers that are just earring girls, earring yeah. ladies, mm -hmm. and that's fine. They have quite an assortment, yeah. but whether their hair is short or long, they draw attention to their face. Mm -hmm. um, you know, going back to Zoom, because if we're, with Zoom is gonna be in our life. So if you're gonna be on Zoom, have something that's gonna attract attention when you have more than one person on the screen with you, and so you yeah. really find a way to stand out. Yes. And the lipstick will help balance that as well. But you know, your lip here we live in a dry climate. You you need some type of moisture. Yeah. And it just it finishes the look after your yeah. eyeshadow and your blush and everything else is on rather than, you know, walking out with no lipstick. Yeah. So. And I think that's a great point that you were talking about being on Zoom is that you want to have that pop because you want to be able to yes. have some of that attention come to you to connect and collaborate. Because Especially if it's a seminar yeah. of sorts. Yeah. Versus of course. just and a one on one. I've connected with even just big being, if someone else is a presenter, I've connected with other people, you know, through the Zoom. And I'm like, oh my gosh. And, you know, it is. Sadly, it is a lot about looks, it's, and so why not put your best foot forward? You know, people will make judgments within the first three seconds of meeting someone, so why not put in a little bit of extra effort so that you can present your best? Because I've had, I can't even tell you how many um, 
partnerships, collaborations, business dealings, whether I'm on the airplane mm -hmm. or in Zoom meeting or whatever it is. And it's just been like, um, I had this one lady seriously connect with me and um, we just interviewed her yesterday, um, but she connected with me because she's like, oh my gosh, you are such a fashion stylist. It like, I just want to connect with you. You're, you seem fun because I had these big fun earrings in. And she's just like, but she based my personality on, on what I was wearing. And she's like, I just want, you're like my people. And literally I had not said anything on the Zoom. And so we just interviewed her yesterday. Um, and I was just like, wow, that, that came about and she's a big wig. Um, and I'm like, yay, how much better can it get? Right. right. So it is really powerful. Well, um, it is. I mean, I've, uh, I had someone buy or want to buy the necklace I was wearing as I was getting ready to sit down on a, a flight. <laughs> and I'm like, no, this is the only necklace I brought for the weekend. I yes. said, I'd be more than happy to make you a variation. And, and I did. And she bought other pieces. But you're right. People, it, they see what they like and they'll, they will try and connect in, in any such way. Yeah. It's just, you know, it's just, it is very interesting. Yeah, I love it. This is so juicy. Thank you so much for being here with mm -hmm. all your Thank gifts. Thank you. And um, how can people connect with you um, or purchase um, some of your goodies here um, or have you custom make some stuff? Sure. Everyone can find me at Instagram, uh, The Elegant Bead, or, and or Facebook, also The Elegant Bead. Thank you so much, Kathy, for being Thank here. You. Thank you for sharing your amazing talent um, with all of us. Um, you're just helping, you know, helping people shine and sparkle every single day. And for all of you out there, as always, be bold, be brave, be fearless, be the magic of you. Massive love, and we'll see you on the next Business Spotlight. Thank you for joining me today. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell to find out about my upcoming shows. Thank you for tuning in today and I'll see you next time.